We're told that a curve has a back tangent with a bearing of north 40 degrees west. The PI of the curve is located at station 238 plus 12.88 and has been assigned coordinates of northing 10,000, easting 10,000. The curve has a radius of 2,400 feet and a delta of 25 degrees to the left. The two-lane road has 12-foot 12, 12 wide lanes, a design speed of 55 miles per hour, and an Emax of 6%. What is the cross slope of the road at station 232? So we're going to start with some basic calculations. First, our tangent length is 532.07 feet. That allows us to calculate the station of the PC, which is subtracting the tangent length from our PI station that was given. So that's a PC station of 232 plus 80.81. Now we can find the length of the curve, which is 1047.2 feet. And that allows us to find the PT station, which is equal to the PC plus the length, which is a station of 243 plus 28.01. We can look up the superelevation runoff from AASHTO table 3.7 for a 55 mile per hour design speed and a superelevation of 4.4%, which is going to give us a superelevation runoff of 112 feet. From that, we can calculate the tangent runout, which is the normal crown rate divided by the superelevation rate multiplied by the superelevation runoff. So 2% divided by 4.4% multiplied by 112 feet gives us a tangent runout of 50.91 feet. So we need to put this in terms of how the cross slope changes throughout a curve. And so I've, I've overlaid some of the information here we have our PC station 232 plus 80.81. I've also listed the PT station, the superelevation runoff, and the tangent runout, particularly on the left side of the curve where our station that we're looking for is located. And one thing important to note when we're dealing with a simple horizontal curve, the points on the curve don't exactly line up with our points where we are having transitions with our cross slope. So it's important to note that for this example, I'm going to assume that that runoff, the PC occurs two thirds of the way through the runoff. That's not the same in every location, but typically it's somewhere around that type of ratio of two thirds, one third. So knowing where our point is, we're looking for station 232 for the cross slope. So we need to start focusing in on where exactly that's located relative to our other points. We can look for the adverse crown removed station, and that happens at the PC minus two thirds of the runoff. So that's station 232 plus 80.81 minus two thirds of 112 feet, gives us a station of 232 plus 06.14. And again, that's where our adverse crown removed happens. That's very close to the point we're interested in, which is station 232. So that's point B labeled on this diagram, but specifically we want to find how far that adverse crown removed is from our point of interest station 232. So we're going to subtract that location adverse crown removed from our point of interest, and we're going to get 6.14 feet for that distance. And it's important for these types of problems. We can usually use triangles to help us figure out what the, what the cross slope is at some particular point. And what we will notice though, is because we're on the, we're on the left side, we're outside the curve in terms of the adverse crown removed, our inside edge of pavement is simple. This is only just gonna be 2% sloping away from the center line. The other thing we should realize for our outside edge of pavement is we're gonna be lower than the center line at that point. So we'll be sloping away from the center line at our point of interest, which is station 232. So I'm going to go ahead and one of the questions was, part of the question is going to deal with both lanes. So the first, the inside lane is going to differ from that outside lane. That inside lane is going to be 2% sloping away from the center line. We're going to take our triangle again now. We know that that, that larger triangle, and we're going to look for a similar triangle, but the larger triangle is 2% and the tangent runout distance is 50.91 feet. 
our similar triangle is smaller. We know that, that the length of the leg is 6.14 feet, and therefore we can calculate that other leg. So 2% times 6.14 divided by 50.91 feet gives us a, an outside lane cross slope of 0.24% sloping away from the center line. So the outside and inside lanes have different slopes. Both are going away from the center line though. If we wanna look at that a little more visually, inside edge of pavement, their inside lane, 2%, the outside lane, 0.24%. And that outside lane is in the middle of a transition. So it's gonna be constantly changing before and after that point as it makes that transition into and out of the curve.